Welcome to my channel RX Sam 2020. Today we discuss a drug name Erythropoietin injection. About Erythropoietin injection is a medicine that helps your bone marrow to produce more red blood cells. It is used to treat a type of anemia caused by kidney disease. It is also used to treat anemia caused by cancer chemotherapy and by taking medicines to treat HIV. Medical Use Indicated in adult and pediatric patients for the increased yield of autologous blood, anemia of chronic renal failure, anemia in zidovudine treated HIV infected patients, anemia related to non-myeloid malignant disease chemotherapy, chronic kidney disease, CKD is a gradual loss of kidney function over several years. In the early stages, there are often no symptoms, but it can cause high blood pressure and swelling due to fluid retention. In the later stages, it can lead to kidney failure. Anemia is a blood disorder in which the blood has a reduced ability to carry oxygen due to a lower than normal number of red blood cells or a reduction in the amount of hemoglobin. Anemia is common and is especially prevalent in those requiring hemodialysis. It is multifactorial in the cause but includes increased inflammation, reduction in erythropoietin and hyperuricemia leading to bone marrow suppression. Hyperuricemia is an elevated uric acid level in the blood. Hypoproliferative anemia occurs. Hypoproliferative anemia results from the inability of bone marrow to produce adequate numbers of red blood cells due to inadequate production of erythropoietin by the kidneys. Contraindications Uncontrolled hypertension Hypersensitivity to mammalian cell products and human albumin. Special precautions. Ischemic heart diseases. Pregnancy. Seizures. Liver dysfunction. Lactation. Drug interactions. Hematinics enhance efficiency. Increased dose of heparin in patients undergoing dialysis. Side effects Hypertension, myalgia, myalgia, pain in a muscle or group of muscles, arthralgia, arthralgia, pain in a joint, flu-like syndrome, rashes and urticaria. Potentially fatal Hypertensive crisis with encephalopathy-like symptoms for example headache, confusion, generalized seizures, thrombosis. Brand names that are mostly prescribed by doctors. Epobel, Epocept, Epofit, Epofer, Epogen, Ecrelease, Nanokine. Frequently asked questions. Which foods increase erythropoietin? Iron-rich foods include lean meat, seafood, poultry, iron-fortified bread and cereals, nuts, beans. Lentils Raisins Monitoring Parameters Patients receiving erythropoietin-stimulating agent therapy should have baseline hemoglobin and transferrin checked before administration. Hemoglobin should be checked frequently at the beginning of treatment weekly. The dosing and frequency of administration should be adjusted based on the response to treatment. The clinician should withhold the ESA if hemoglobin rises to a non-anemic level. Consider iron supplementation in patients with poor response to therapy as iron availability may be inadequate. Dosage Intravenous Increase yield of autologous blood Adult as epoitin alpha or zeta 600 U per kg over 2 minutes twice weekly for 3 weeks before surgery in conjunction with iron, folate and B12 supplementation. Parenteral 
Anemia of chronic renal failure. Adult, as epoitin alpha, initially, 50 U per kg subcutaneous or intravenous 3 times weekly for predialysis and hemodialysis patients and 50 U per kg twice weekly for peritoneal dialysis patients may increase according to response in steps of 25 U per kg 3 times weekly at 4 weekly intervals. Child as epoitin alpha initially 50 U per kg 3 times weekly may increase the dose at 4 weekly intervals in increments of 25 U per kg 3 times weekly until a target hemoglobin concentration of 9.5 to 11 G per 100 ml is reached. Usual maintenance dose less than 10 kg 225 to 450 U per kg per week 10 to 30 kg 180 to 450 U per kg per week and greater than 30 kg 90 to 300 U per kg per week. Parenteral Anemia in Zidovodine treated HIV infected patients Adult as epoitin alpha initially 100 U per kg subcutaneous or intravenous thrice weekly for 8 weeks Increase every 4 to 8 weeks by 50 to 100 U per kg according to the response. Maximum 300 U per kg thrice weekly. Subcutaneous. Anemia related to non-myeloid malignant disease chemotherapy. Adult as epoitin alpha or zeta initially 150 U per kg 3 times weekly. The dose may be increased at 4 to 8 weeks intervals to 300 U per kg 3 times weekly. Stop treatment if the response is still inadequate after 4 weeks of treatment using this higher dose. Mechanism of Actions Endogenous Erythropoietin, EPO and erythropoietin stimulating agents stimulate the division and differentiation of erythroid progenitor cells. The surface of CD34 plus hematopoietic stem cells, very early developing erythrocytes, contains EPO receptors. The binding of endogenous EPO or recombinant analogs creates a cellular signaling cascade, activating genes that promote cell proliferation and prevent apoptosis. The result is stimulating an increase in total body hemoglobin and hematocrit. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get video updates.